Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center and today we're going to go over how you can find your rabbits. I want everybody to start their production and you know given this everything we're, we're going through we need more things to do at home. Uh, we need more hobbies I guess you could say and um, you know our, our reservation list is getting so long it's well into 2021 and I, I hate turning people away and uh, I'm, I'm just going to try to explain to everyone or share with everyone how uh, we find rabbits when we need to and I've been answering so many calls at least three phone calls a day on you know somebody says they can't find rabbits so I just wanted to share uh, all my sources and we're also going to go over you know, how we are still staying open for business and how we're, um, we're selling our rabbits and providing rabbits uh, for our customers still. Um, you know, we're just we're all trying to just break up the monotony and do you know I have been hiking like crazy. Uh, we've been doing a lot of fishing and um, just trying to you know deal with this. And and uh, I know you're you're probably missing the heck out of your friends and family just like I am. So uh, I just want to to share with you all my sources and we're going to go over how to build a quick little temporary stand so you can sell your rabbits out front and we'll uh, we'll go over that right now. Here we go. I let you out to run around and you have to hang out right by my ankles. Scoot, go play. Go scratch. I can't believe this. This chicken wants to walk circles around me while we do this. Let's talk where to find them. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Craigslist, but more and more people, more and more farmers and breeders have been using it to sell their livestock. and. Um, it's just what I know you get on there and you don't think you're finding anything because you've been checking once a week But that's the thing you need to check it every day and for months You know sometimes you'll check it for a month and you want to give up you just think okay I just can't find them well There's so many people it's hard to fathom how many people are getting on Craigslist I mean millions of people um, and and hundred th hundreds of thousands in your state so when somebody has a litter of say eight rabbits or even 10 rabbits, it goes so fast. It sells in a matter of a day or two sometimes. Now I know that's not in everybody's, you know, it may have to do with the pictures and the ads and everything, how fast it's going to sell. You set, you certainly need to market them. But I recommend Craigslist. But if, if you're gonna try Craigslist, you gotta check it every day, okay? Now, uh, also check a website called Hoobly, H-O-O-B-L-Y. Now they have, uh, a lot of livestock and it's, it's a lot of breeders and it's for all the states so um, you're gonna wanna you know put in your search engine of where you are just like Craigslist also try Facebook marketplace you know even though we're not supposed to be selling rabbits on there people find a way to, to, to list their rabbits on to their friends you can always go to your county fair you know they're always showing animals there you can speak to the people there about where to, where to find rabbits um, you can you can contact 4-H programs um, to see if anybody's been breeding rabbits that has rabbits or will have rabbits available in the future. So also try googling Michigan rabbit breeders, uh, Michigan, um, New Zealand rabbit breeders, or you, you know it just depends on. There's a lot of different meat rabbits out there. There's New Zealands, there's Californians, Champagne d'Argens, Palominos, Rexes. I'm going to forget some satins, silver foxes, rexes, uh, boy, giant chinchillas, Flemish giants, uh, checkered giant. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't recommend, I know a lot of people will get mad at me for this, but I, I wouldn't rec recommend giant rabbits because they're bony. They're very, their meat to bone ratio is, isn't quite as good as your medium breed rabbits. You're going to get more bone than meat. Not to mention, they need a huge cage. And they need, uh, they eat a lot of food. You're gonna get a list, and, and just be prepared to, to make a lot of phone calls. A lot, you know, you're gonna have a lot of strikeouts. You're gonna have people that, oh, we don't farm rabbits anymore, or we're not doing that anymore. Some of these lists are dated. Um, now, if you're looking for a pet, there's other programs like um, Pets Lovers, and but if you're going to entertain the the idea of adopting from a, um, if with this gnat would stop those like humane society and adoption programs 
um, just be prepared to be interrogated and if you don't check all those boxes like if your rabbits aren't inside you know I've heard stories of Humane Society if you're trying to farm rabbits outside they will not sell you a New Zealand or they won't let you adopt a New Zealand and I if, if anybody out there if I'm wrong please comment below um, they won't let you adopt a rabbit if you're gonna uh, farm it or house it outside um, so they want they have all these conditions so that's usually not that even a rabbit store they're, they're not normally the best places to go get your rabbits so um, breeders will, will most likely have a better rabbit for you it just depends on how much you're willing to spend so once you finally get your rabbits I know you're probably going to be excited to, to just box them up and take them home but you know have your have your questions ready for the breeder um, they're they shouldn't mind answering any questions uh, at that point, you know, and I mean, they're not gonna mind if you look over your rabbit. You want to look at its ears and its teeth and its feet and its rear end, um, its vent. So, um, and if you know, if they're, of course, if they don't want you to see that stuff, you know, if they don't want to talk about, you know, the the goop or the infection in their eyes, then you probably shouldn't be buying that rabbit um, or rabbits from that person. But normally, that's not the case. There's there's a lot of good breeders out there. But um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to bring, you don't want to breed a rabbit with an eye infection. You don't necessarily want um, a, your rabbit when you when you turn it over to check its vent to have uh, diarrhea or any sort of infection. You know, some some scratching in the ears is normal from the the rabbit's horse playing around. Um, but you certainly wouldn't want to bring a rabbit back with ear mites and. Uh, you know, cage it with another rabbit. You know, when rabbits are small, if you're buying your rabbits young, their teeth should be pretty small. But if you're buying an older rabbit, like a six month old rabbit, be sure to get a good hold of it and pull back its gums. It, it may jerk away while you're trying to do that. So just be prepared for that. But you wanna make sure that its teeth aren't growing crooked. So I'll put up a list of uh, everything we, that we talked about. I'll put it down in the description so you can highlight it, copy and paste it, and, um, and hopefully you can find your rabbits. I hope that helps you guys. I want everybody to be farming rabbits out there. So, so we've talked about um, where to find them and how to find them. And um, you know, of course, also try the ARBA. Now let's talk about how to stay open for business during this pandemic. Now we're gonna um, show you our little temporary table that we built, and we're gonna show you how we do business out front. Um, you know, it's just a quick little deal. They, we set up, normally we bring everybody back to our rabbitry and, you know, we, we pull out a bunch of rabbits and we spend a lot of time with them. But, but given the circumstances now, um, you know, I want everybody to get their rabbits, but uh, we have to do things a little different. So I'll show you that right now. We have our pedigrees ready to go. We have our uh, poppers ready to go in case somebody needs one of those. We have our latex gloves and of course I got my mask and gloves here ready to go um, as soon as the customers show up and they they understand uh, given the circumstances they're willing to put up with a little weirdness in order in order to get their rabbits because most people are very excited to get started farming. Now I got a little I got a coca-cola here um, I have my iPad set up so I can watch a little TV uh, backup battery power pack and then of course I have my rabbits right here next to me and uh, it is a gorgeous day today. Things are still working and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, also, I will show you how to make a quick little temporary stand. Um, I, w I didn't even bother making 45 supports for these legs because this is only temporary. It's just got a couple corrugated, uh, it's got a couple bricks on top of this corrugated plastic and it's working fine. So here's that table build.
boy. This is a gorgeous morning. I tell you, it's 65 degrees right now. I think it's getting up to 70. Shorts weather, finally. And we need it. I mean, it's, it's so uplifting. We're gonna be getting the, the summer crops in here pretty soon, a couple weeks. We got the spring crops growing. And um, I just hope your family's doing well. I hope everybody's staying healthy. And I hope you found the video helpful. I hope you find your rabbits. And uh, seeing all that dandelion, it makes it reminds me of what my wife, she, she asked me the other day, she said, we need to treat the lawn and, uh, you know, spray some weed and feed. And, you know, if you have a rabbit tree, you love dandelion. You love, uh, you know, clover and, and uh, plantain and, and all the weeds that are in your yard. It's just a perspective thing. The dandelion with beekeeping, the bees love the pollen and the dandelion and, and uh, yeah, I just, she sees something else, and, and I, it's a perspective thing. I tried to explain it to her. She's like, uh-uh. So, yep, I hope, I hope everything turns around here shortly. I hope you found the video helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video.